So, welcome back. Now the game is set and let's start playing. And as we play, you will see how things go and turns and what you can do during your turns. And well, you will learn how to play this game. So I will play first. I'm the red guy and this green dude is the second player. Uh, so we start by checking our cards. I have one blue card and as you can see only the warrior like compliments. The rest of girls not so much. So I should focus my resource gathering on the warrior girl because I can use that card. And she needs stone and water and you can find it on mountains. So, so I'm gonna travel to mountain. And the green dude, he has some themes about sex, so he is gonna probably try the breeding girl, breeder or love making girl. And she likes to have uh, water and food, so he will go where he can find water and food, and that's it around the lake. Think of it as like we are going to location where we can meet these girls and you know meet them find something about them after we set on tiles and one important rule uh the you can't have two players on the same tile that this is very important so you have you need only you always have two uh, players on different tiles it's very important for the game mechanics so now I need to gather these resources and we do this by checking with the roll dice. So I roll three dice and if I get five or six I can gather resources. I mean if I get five or six five and six are count of success. So if I get two success success I get two resources. But in this this time I didn't get anything. So you get one black bad reputation. Actually call them slacking tokens because I went to do my job, I didn't do it. I get back to village without any resources. So let's see, was this green dude successful? And yes, he actually have three scores, two fives and one six. So he gather water and food. And now because he has one more success, he can choose to take any resource, one of any resource here, or to take one card. And it's maybe best for him to take another card. And he ho he ha he have some compliments. And he get back in the village. And th this is the first phase of the turn. Now the second phase, uh, it, it's like turns in two phases. During the day we gather resources, during the night we can trade and approach the girls. So I didn't gather any resources so I can't approach any of the girls. But what I can do is to sell one of my cards. That's possible to do. So I can sell either my conversation team or my accusations. And you do this by taking one of the cards you want to sell and it's always better to sell duplicates of the colors. Put them face down uh, outside of the board somewhere and then take any two resources you like. So in this case uh, because of my blue card and because the warriors like stone and water I will take one stone and one water. So after I done my trading I can do another action. Now about these actions you can trade only once and you can approach the girl only once. So I can't sell another of my cards although you can sell two or even all your cards in one trade but you have to do simultaneously not one by one but simultaneously. And you can also buy cards in the same way, like uh, I, 
in the next turn if I have resources I can sell all two of them together one uh, team card or one or one exchange card depends what I need also you can buy these cards that you sell for the half the price so if I ever need this card I can look what it is and take what I need for the price of only one resource this is very important so right now I bought my resources that I need for this girl and I'm gonna approach her I'm gonna talk her and give her some compliments and you do that by spending your resources they go to the girl setting your peon on the image of the girl and playing your card and now this girl team deck activates we shuffle it and we take three cards from it uh, and if I get matching colors I will get some points with the girl so let's see romance well this is not good because romance is romance is minus two points for me this does nothing and also this does nothing for me so I didn't score any positive points I just scored one uh, actually two negative points so I get these two black markers so like girl talks there was some guy coming in here and he wasn't I wasn't so interested in him so what happens when you don't score any color your card goes to your enemy player because he's learning from your mistakes and he maybe where you didn't manage to do something he will and we shuffle this deck again and I get back to the village not very satisfied with my try with the girls so now he plays and he has various cards he can even sell some of them mm. or buy something but right now he has two blue but he ha doesn't have resources to approach this girl but have resources to approach this love making girl so let's say he does do this he spend his resources and plays his card talks about sex i need your touch and you need my kisses and he goes to her of course so let's see would he maybe he will be better luck than me so one romance nothing one blue and one discipline nope he didn't have luck uh, actually his luck was same as mine he didn't have any scores he actually got minus two points because of the purple card so he also get two black tokens we take the conversation of the girls to their girl deck and I get his red card and he goes back to the village and this is the end of turn one now we can start third turn, turn two second turn so again as I play first I need to go to gather some resources and because I have this red card I should try to gather some food and water so I go to the lake and this guy has blue cards he can try with the warrior so he will, he will go to the mountain and let's see so I roll the dice and I got one resource so I'll take one food get back to the village now he rolls the dice and he doesn't get anything just bad reputation now these bad reputations can uh, stack up I mean you can get really too many of them and if you get six or more of them you go to prison you go to prison lose all your resources and you stay in the prison 
for many turns as many of these black markers. So at the end of every turn you just take one black marker and take it back to this bag. It's, it is like countdown of days, how many days you were in the prison. Now you can get rid of these bad reputations. I'll show you how when you get to that. Right now both of us have three of them. When you get four, I'll show you how you can get how we can get rid of them. And so I don't have any resource I can use. He doesn't also. So we end the turn like this. And let's start the turn three. So again I'm going to the lake. He's going to the mountains of course. Maybe he'll be better like this time. And no. No. Again I get one more. And I get back to the village. Let uh actually this is me. So let's see for the green dude. And he got one resource, let's say stone. And he get back to the village. Now in village I can trade and right now I'm, I'm trying to trade my bad reputation. How you do this? You take your bad reputation and take it back to the bag. And now you can get rid of one of the tiles from the board. Any one you wish. It, it goes back to the tile deck. So let's see. Now, since I want to somehow screw him up, I want to get rid of the one of the maybe mountain tiles, but also I can do with the planes if I just want to remove one plane too much. Uh, one thing, if I remove the jungle, every girl that is huntress will leave the tribe. And then we'll, we'll draw just uh, one new girl, just one. So this would be a bad move right now because uh, we, we would have less girls to choose from and this game would be a bit difficult. So I will not remove this jungle tile. I will actually remove one planes. So it's out of the game. And stay for that. So that was my move and this guy doesn't have enough resources but he will sell one of his accusation cards. So you know how how it, how it goes. He get rid of the card and take any two resources he needs. Right now he's gonna try the warrior girl so he needs stone and water so he ta takes water because he already have stone and now he's thinking a bit adv in advance and he takes one wood who knows maybe he will get later some cards for the hunters and when you done his trade he has one more action and that's to approach the girls so let's do that so he spends his stone and water and approach this warrior girl here with two cards. Now you can play up to three cards of same or different colors. It is same for the accusation. You can play up to three cards. So he play his two complement cards so he get better chance to score more points because it's just plus one point per card. So let's see was he a lucky guy. No. Yes, match. And one green one. So let's see what happened now. He has three matches. This means got three points because one blue is one point. So he got three points of affection, but there is this card that is minus two. So it's three minus two. He got only one point of affection. So we get back this to girl's deck and shuffle it. And because he scored with his cards, 
they get back in our team pack and get shuffled. And of course now he can copy and pass the one of his affections to this girl. Just a second. Ah, oh, it's locked here. Yeah. Here it is. Now he has one. This girl is starting to like him. Get back to the village. And how many he does he need to get for this girl? It says on the card plus two plus one. So he need three of those to get this girl. Because we don't count the minuses, just the pluses. So plus two plus one. That mean that means he need three of those in here to get this girl. And to get so he gets in love with him and likes him and stuff. So this is the end of turn and let's see what will happen in the another turn. So again we need to gather some resources. For me that mean that means I'm going to the lake and this guy doesn't have any car so he can go wherever he wants. Let's say he goes to jungle because he has one wood. Maybe he he will get some resources, sell it and who knows, maybe get the card. So let's resolve the gathering. And I got six. So I get I'll take one water because I already have food and because I'm gonna try this girl I need water and food. So now right now I have enough resources for that. Now let's see for the green guy. He got one and let's say he takes the food. So get back to the village. So let's see. I can approach this girl and try for her affection. And I'm gonna do that. And I'm spending my resources to her. And I play my talk about sex. So let's see. Green. Yes, she's interested. And no. <laughs> because as you know, she doesn't like discipline. So let's see. I have two scores of plus two. That's four. But about discipline minus two so I got only two affection points which is not that bad so kind of getting very liked by her and I'll add two hearts of my color this pile and as you can see I need three so I need only one more to get this girl to be my lover so oh, I forgot to put my uh, key on her but never mind I get back to the beach now this guy doesn't have any cards to start a conversation but he can sell his resources to buy one you can do that action when you are back in village. And he got uh, discipline, so I guess now he try he can try again with the warrior girl. So again, I'm going to gather some resources, but this time I'm going to jungle, and this guy going to mountains. So I get one, actually made a mistake, I'm the red guy, keep forgetting. So I get five, that's one stone for me. And this guy got both resources, that is, uh, oh Jesus, actually this was correct. Sorry, I forgot that I 
yeah, I, I need to go to the jungle, I need to go to the mountain. Uh, instead of that one I got, I will take one wood. And this guy got two successes, so he will take stone and water. Just what he needs. And we get back to the village. So now, I can't do anything, I have only one resources, but if you check this uh, deck here, there is one accusation card in different colors, and I have blue and pink, so maybe I can spend my resources to buy one of these. So I buy this card, and spend wood for it. So I have three different accusation so if I ever need to accuse him of something I have better chances to succeed so I'm kind of preparing for to be a bad person to him and let's see yeah, that was my part of the turn now his so he he will try for the girl he will go to her and give her stone and water that she needs and talk with her about discipline. So let's see. Ah. No. No. Yes. He scored. So as you can see that's plus two. And he got four. And now is the good time to show you how the accusation works. Because you can play this card during your turn or during the other player's turns uh, anytime you wish so uh, during the, any phase of the turn you just say accusation and point on the <laughs> player you wish to accuse so I don't want him to get this girl because he will be advantage over me because as you can see he got four points and he already have one and four that's more than he needs that's five points so he will get this girl for sure. So I don't want that. So I I'm gonna remember that he got almost five points. So I will accuse him to this girl. You have to point player and the girl. So I'm accusing this player to this girl and I get there and I told her some lies lies about him. I'm a very bad person. So I'm trying to accuse him of stealing some food from the village or anything. Talking bad things about her behind her, her back. Stuff like that. You can you can say anything, you know. It's just lies and accusations. So what happens now? The game stops and you need to resolve things using this side deck that I called wound deck. You can see open wound. So we take two cards from here, and if any color matches to those two cards, my, accusa my accusation has passed. And and if we don't, if I don't get any matching colors, then I will be in trouble <laughs> because they expose my lies. So let's see. Yep. And right now I don't need to draw another, but I have two. Actually, I need I need to draw two always. So I have two. And this is actually, yeah, I forgot to tell you, this is how much points will I get with this girl for, because she's trusting me on these lies. So first, I have two matches, matching colors, one blue, one green. This was, she completely trusts me in the lies I talk about this player. So what happens? The green dude uh, will go to prison he will lose all his resources well he doesn't have any he will also lose his point with the goal he has and if I had this black bad reputations I would pass them on him and if he didn't have any or I didn't have any if, if there, this was empty he would get three three of them automatically 
this is the number of days he need to spend in prison because he already has three of them he will not get more so he will stay in the prison for three days and that's that's all that happens to him i mean that's that's enough don't you think and this point of this card of accusation didn't pass didn't match with those so it goes to his hand and this one are going back to the accusation deck also because i got two color scores i got two affection points with this girl that we, he was trying to seduce so now you know how the accusation works this is the kind of the way you can score some point with the girls without using conversation but your devilish skill of lying and betraying other players <laughs> so now yeah i'm a very bad person these girls like me very much and this guy is in prison and he's probably plotting some revenge so let's take these cards get them back in this deck double it and this is the end of this turn so now I'm in advance. I mean, I have two girls almost. I need one point more for this lovemaking girl and one point for this warrior. So let's focus on that. Right now I don't have any cards. So, but this guy is for three turns in the prison, so I have enough time to gather some resources. And maybe get one of these girls before he gets out of the prison and accuse me for something now when you are in prison you can't use your accusation card so he can do me no harm but when he gets out well then it's gonna be trouble for me because as you can see he has three different colors so that's a very good chance that he will succeed okay so let's go to the Let's go to the lake. Gather something. Yep. One water for me. Get back to village. Can't do anything. Hmm. Well, I can buy some of these cards here. Let's see. There's only one. But no, I will focus on gathering cards of theme conversations so the turn ends and one black reputation is gone from the green guy uh, okay again I will go to the lake and I take the water and food get back to village now I can buy some cards. I will spend my two waters. Buy one conversation card. And it's the blue one. That's the one that I need to use for the warrior girl. So now I know what resources I need. Stone and water. And my part of the turn is over. So another bad reputation from this guy is gone. So let's go to the mountain and I get, well, one stone, yep, I get back to the village and hmm, I will actually spend both of my resources for another card, yep, this is what I need, as you can see plus two to purple and plus one to blue this is actually i can play both of these cards if i get resources and now the turn is over and this guy is out of the prison and he probably is angry with me <laughs> right now i can i have to watch out because he will probably accuse me in the best moment i mean he can, he can accuse me right now but can wait to gather some more black reputations he can get to me or stuff like that or when he sees that I will take one of the girls 
So I'm going to the mountain and he's going, let's say, to the lake. And I got one red vegetation. No resources for me. And he also didn't get anything. Interesting. So let's try again. He went to the jungle this time. I got two resources. Stone and water. Now I'm, I'm a bit afraid because <laughs> I know he will accuse me that I mean that's what what's what's the best thing to do to accuse when you I almost got to go. Oh and he has these black markers. So right now, let's play it. I know what will happen next. So I'm gonna try for the this girl, this warrior girl, and I'm gonna spend my stone and water to try to speak with her. And let's say this is the moment when this green guy comes and says i'm accusing you for stealing some food and for not doing your chores and you were cheating this girl with this girl here uh, blah 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 <laughs> and of course he used his accusation cards he accused me to this girl he, ju he just said peon like this so you know which to which girl he accused me and now again let's see if he gets some matching colors I'm doomed. And yes. He got he got one and that's all all, the, all that he needs. So you know what happens. I lose my points that I got and he get one or one matching of the accusation color. And this accusation had passed. It goes oh sorry. It goes to the accusation deck. And these two I got is the one he didn't manage to pass. And my cards get back to me because I didn't even use them. I didn't have a chance to speak with the girl when he busted in and talk bad things about me. But it is the revenge. I done him the same thing, so he just revenge him, and he just transferred his bad reputations to me. So now I'm the three days in this prison, and he is free to try to do something. So he obviously needs some cards, so he will go to planes just to gather some resources to buy some cards. And he didn't get anything. And because when he get back to village, turn his end. One day has passed. So again, go to the plains again. And he got one food. Get back to village. He can't do anything about it, so. Another day has passed for me in the prison. So again, you go to the jungle and gather one wood. Go back to the village and sell those resources to take one card. And it is the red one so there's only one one making girl in this village and you can try it with her and it's the end of the turn so I get back from the prison so 
since I played the first, I go first to scavenge for resources. So let's see. Mm, I should go to mountains, of course. And this time he can't stop me because he doesn't have any accusations. And he will go, let's say, to the lake. So I'm getting nothing. And he he also gets nothing. Interesting. Okay, since I really want to try for this girl again, I'm gonna sell both of my accusation cards. Actually, no, not both of them. But only one, the green one. Yeah, I'll sell it. And I will buy resources I need, and that is stone and water. And then I'm gonna approach this girl again. So sometimes pass, maybe he forgot about my bad behavior that well, that I was accused by this person. So I'm gonna use my water and stone to give her and let's talk about discipline and let's give her some compliments so let's see yes mm, well not that bad yes so i got three matching cards this one didn't match so it does go to my enemy let's see I got three points and as you can see that's all that I need to get this girl so I will not spend my points there because you know I get her so I get the girl the warrior girl is now my girl and this get deleted no more passion of her for, for him and now I show you what happens when you get one of the girls from the tribe so every time you remove the girl from there you also must remove the tile that has these markers of stone and water one of them so we have to remove one mountain let's remove this one and then the new girl comes in her place and it's another warrior mm, quite amazing one okay and now if there wasn't any mountain tiles here and uh, you you when you add the girl you also had you have to add one mountain tile on the any place you wish if there isn't any but there is one so it's okay And now the green player, well, let's just clean this up. Uh, the green player doesn't have any resources, but he can sell his purple card. He can sell his purple card and get the resources he needs to speak this girl to try to take her away from me because as you can see I have already two affection points with her I only need one so he gets uh, food and water just get them back because he doesn't need to get them because he spends them right away and goes to speak with her if he talks about sex so yeah i want you now let's see how will he have have any luck blue yep yes he was very lucky you can see he got three scores and each of them is plus two so he gets six and to get this girl he ha he 
only have, need uh, three of them. So yes, we managed to seduce this breeder girl and get her. Damn him. And I lose my course faction points with her. And this card goes here. And this goes here. So again we remove one lake. Let's say this one. And we add another girl. And it is another warrior. And since we already have a mountain, we don't need to add any mountains. This also means that as the time progress, we find out that some tiles where we were going before now doesn't have much resources, it's getting dry. But we also gonna, as the girls come and talk about the surrounding, we can get another tiles of some resources by they are just further away from the village this is how it works it's part of the game this game is very thematic and well as you can see i have one girl warrior and he wa he has also one girl breeder so we need two more but i will actually stop here because you now have enough knowledge to how to play this game remember the person who gets three girls is the winner everybody else are the losers because this game can be played up from two to four players and i will probably add some more features to it as the time progress i'm planning to add some character cards where we who, would uh, every player can choose the character card with some abilities like I'm thinking to add maybe explorer, uh, explorer, carpenter, uh, I don't know, maybe leader, some kind of a leader, wagon leader or something like that, where they, each player could take that card and have some special abilities like when he gathers two resources, he can gather one more or when he remove uh, one tile, uh, he can add two more and stuff like that. You no, know, for explorer and uh, and some may get one more card or ac accusation if there are like shady characters and stuff like that. I'm planning to add that. It could be good for the gameplay and also, well, if this game gets popular, I'll probably do expansion. Why well, have a Amazon village when you can have Amazon cities <laughs> or Amazon wars. So this is it. This is my game. Everything about this game is I thought myself. I mean I, I made myself this design also all of these images I got from internet. Well they are free images. I didn't steal at least because they were like wallpapers for free use because I couldn't draw this myself I mean it would take too much time but it is from the free sources and this mod doesn't have any material material uh, advantage for me because I can get it I can't get any money maybe if I would kickstarter this game I would probably hire some artists from the money this Kickstarter project would take took but I don't know for now it's free game for everyone have fun with it enjoy it this is the Amazon villages village actually only one <laughs> so that's it play it and enjoy it